see for you now Hello, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Lana and I make travel vlogs. Recently I spent a few days in Queenstown which is in the South Island of New Zealand. So I spent a few days down there because one of my really good friends got married and it was super gorgeous. She had the wedding in such a beautiful spot. But anyways that's not what I'm talking about today. I wanted to share with you guys what are some things you can do if you're down in Queenstown and Wanaka for just a few days and you should really check these places out because if you're there for a short amount of time you'll definitely want to make the most of it. So here we go. Okay so first up is the Queenstown City Centre. Now although it's quite touristy down there I actually really enjoyed this because it's really nice to go for a walk. It's super small and quaint and it's just a relaxing thing to do after a long day of sightseeing. There is a lake nearby which you can sit down and feed the ducks for only two New Zealand dollars and then also you can swim in the lake so there is a grass patch and a lot of people I saw when I was there they were just chilling out by the lake and having a picnic which I thought was really cool because you can sit there in summer or winter time and then if you're there in summer you could obviously just go for a swim not too far away from the lake is some gardens which I really like to see there's just something so peaceful about going to a garden in a city and it's also really awesome because it's a free thing to do because so many of the attractions down there in Queenstown cost a lot of money. If you aren't staying in the Queenstown city centre then you can catch a bus or an Uber there. Um, as I said in my previous vlog that Ubers are a lot more expensive than catching the bus. So the bus from where we were staying at the airport to the city centre only cost us 5 New Zealand dollars. The downside was that the buses only come every 20 minutes to 1 hour. So just make sure to follow the timetable so that you can catch the bus on time and not have to wait around as much. Okay, so next up is Lake Hayes. This was actually the first attraction that I went to when I was down there in Queenstown. And it's really awesome because they have a walking track which you can do that goes right around the whole lake. So we just walked for half an hour, but you can walk if you want to do the full track. It takes two to three hours to walk around the whole lake. If you do go in the summertime, I would recommend that you don't go at midday because there wasn't that many trees sheltering us and especially with the New Zealand sun, you'll get burnt really fast. You can also swim in the lake, so don't forget to bring your togs. I regret not bringing mine because there was a lot of beautiful swimming spots and there was even some with a swing and it was under shade. Just watch me break in my friend actually got married across from Lake Hayes so it's really beautiful and it's even more gorgeous at sunset. Okay so next up is Lake Wanaka. Now this is only a one hour drive away from Queenstown and when you get to Wanaka you definitely have to check out this lake because it is literally surrounded by all of these beautiful mountains and you can see the reflection in the lake and then there's also this one random tree which grows in the middle and everyone calls it that Wanaka tree because everyone goes there to take pictures of it. Now I must say it wasn't too crowded at the lake itself. There was obviously tourists there but I didn't think it was overly crowded. But if you did want to skip the people you could get there earlier in the morning and go for a walk and it's just amazing. I could just imagine it would be way more gorgeous if you went in the winter time when the snow would be on the tops of the mountains. Now, if you're keen to make the drive out to Wanaka, you should definitely check out the lavender farm there. So it's only $5 entrance and you get free range to walk through all of the beautiful lavender fields that they have there. And they also have a miniature petting zoo, which has, I think, alpacas, cows, sheep, and what else does it have? Yeah, bulls, miniature ponies, pigs, alpacas, and sheep. So yeah, that was a surprise because I wasn't expecting to see a miniature petting zoo there. So if you are at the Lavender Farm, it's like the perfect place to go for a walk and once you get your Instagram fix, you can just jump over to the petting zoo and pet some of the animals. And then it's surrounded, the whole farm is surrounded by mountains. Like seriously, I didn't expect to fall in love so much with mountains when I was down there. Like I thought I was a beach person, but I think I definitely like mountains after visiting the South Island. <laughs> The Blue Pools is another great place you have to visit when you're in Wanaka and this consists of a walking track so it's 15 minutes to walk to the Blue Pools and then if you're eager enough and you wanted to do a bit of a hike 
It is about 1.5 to 2 hours to do the full trek and you go to the Young River Mountain as well. So yeah, it's a pretty easy walk if you just walk to the Blue Pools so anyone can do it. You do cross a small wire swing bridge and a few staircases if you're there. I noticed that most of the people were tourists and the water is freezing, literally so freezing that it will make you numb. So be sure to swim there on a really hot day. We ran out of time so we just walked to the blue pool and then jumped back in the car for the hours drive or so back to Queenstown. Now, before I end this vlog I just wanted to mention that if you drive anywhere around Queenstown it is seriously so beautiful, the mountains seem to just last forever. On our way out to Wanaka we saw Lake Hawaia as well which is another awesome viewpoint so if you do make any of these drives you should stop for the lookout point here it's just so breathtaking now that brings us to the end of this vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful if you are only spending a few days down there like me i feel like i didn't see as much as i should have seen when i was down there so please comment down below let me know what i should check out for next time that i'm in queenstown anyways thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next vlog bye just watch me breaking